if you can finally learn how to overcome procrastination, start achieving your goals, it will have a very positive impact on your relationships. And that's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. So if what I'm saying has merit to it, that overcoming procrastination, learning about procrastination, understanding it, and therefore overcoming it, if that's going to help your relationships, what we can do here is we can start to look at, well, what harm is currently maybe happening to my relationships due to procrastination? Because Somebody actually asked me this in, in one of the comments in, in the video is to talk about how procrastination can negatively affect friendships and relationships. And basically what it does, the negative impact it has in it is it makes it incredibly difficult to be fully present with somebody, a friend or a partner. If we have procrastinated on the what I refer to as our own personal emotional needs and our, our own personal emotional needs are very practical it's the things it's a lot of the goals that you'll have are kind of your your own personal emotional needs so to take care of your own needs first and you know just think about that for a moment what does it feel like when you know you haven't done anything for yourself you haven't done any if you want to use the word self-care or even just want to use the, the term uh, address your goals if you haven't done any of that stuff that you find important and then you're now in your relationships will you actually really want to be there with that person or will you be kind of mentally somewhere else all the time so it has a huge impact on relationships because another thing that procrastination does is that it leads to kind of constantly deferring or procrastinating on actually uh, or putting off the relationship it's like well I haven't got my own stuff sorted out here yet and I don't have time for that now and that goes on and on then your social life maybe starts to deteriorate so it can sometimes be a valuable thing to consider actually putting your relationships as a priority especially if these other areas of your life you've been procrastinating on because it's a, it's a complicated thing, but the a lot of people, I think, are a little bit out of touch with, I certainly was, about how important relationships are and uh, to focus only on your own needs indefinitely. It is kind of a mistake. Really, I'll put it to you this way, right? There's your own personal emotional needs, and then there's relationships. Which are more important? They're both important. If the, if the tendency for you has been to constantly delay putting off your relationships, it's probably a good idea to, to, to set that as a priority. But that doesn't mean that we can overlook our own needs. Because that means if we do that, when we're here, we're not going to be actually present at all. So overcome procrastination. Learn why you do it, why it happens. It's not about um, any character flow or anything like that. It's essentially due to a nervous system that feels overwhelmed or has some kind of a programming sitting underneath it, a story, I call it sometimes, a defective story. And it's actually causing dysfunctional uh, decision-making in our behavior. So once you understand it and get to grips with it so you are actually easily and effectively and consistently meeting your own needs you will find that your relationships become much better and it's such an amazing feeling i genuinely mean this when you're actually sitting with someone and you're not mentally somewhere else you're actually sitting there you've got everything you've wanted to do done and you're sitting there with that person you're making eye contact there's nowhere else you want to be nowhere else you have to be and that person can feel that. And the thing about that too is that I should mention, if you can sit with a person in that way, being that present, five minutes of that is as good as three hours 
of being distracted or being mentally someplace else while you're physically with that person. So just bear that in mind. Um, you know, it's funny, as a therapist, uh, one of the areas I, I work on, I look at is procrastination, and I also look at couples therapy, for instance. I'm also starting to do more work on addiction now. Uh, but all of these areas, like in this video, we're talking about relationships and procrastination, they're all influencing each other. So it really is a holistic approach that we ultimately end up taking here. And what you do for yourself in one area of your life and improvement will be felt across the board. So just to sum up again, you owe it to yourself and you owe it to your relationships to finally figure out how to overcome procrastination and how to become that consistent person with productivity. I was going to say a goal achiever, but it's not even necessarily about goals. It's just about consistently engaging or meeting your own needs and then seeing what an impact that has on your relationships. And I promise you, it's profound and you'll be very glad that you invested your time in that. Thanks as always for being with me in today's video and I'll see you again very soon in the next one. Bye for now.